Today we make this beautiful vegan ginger lime bonbons. Welcome. So the colors I need today is red and I also would like to have a gold color. So I use some cocoa butter here, just melted cocoa butter. And then I use uh, Pavoni's gold powder and I mix it like this inside the cocoa butter. Then you start mixing. It looks nice to me. So this design is a set, as I said, a design with which I make with my finger. I already have a silicone sheet here with some paper on so I can clean it. And now I will just take the mold. I will take my finger and just start painting. It's very important that the mold temperature is about 18 degrees. That makes the color set pretty much right away. Don't use too much. Just be creative. You can also just paint half of the cavity. Now you would like to wait until the cocoa butter has set. And remember, don't put uh, your finger inside your nose. So now I will start to apply the cocoa butter here. As you can see, I use the golden cocoa butter here. Of course, it's tempered. Remember to watch my video how to temper cocoa butter. And I use a pencil because that's the easiest way to do it. You can use your finger, but it's a little bit more difficult. Beautiful. You've done so. They need to crystallize and really best is to do this overnight at 16 degree. See the mold. See that, uh, that there is air underneath the cocoa butter. That's a, that's a very good sign. It's very important. If all of them would look like this, I would be uh, afraid that the cocoa butter doesn't crystallize. But like this, you would like to have that. That's a very good sign. It tells me that the cocoa butter was tempered. To be quite honest, I found out it doesn't really make a big difference if you just put dark chocolate uh, in these cavities instead of painting black. Guys, now we're making some uh, vegan ganache and uh, some of you would say, well, most of the chocolate is vegan and that's true, dark chocolate is a vegan chocolate, but this uh, new chocolate from Calabot is 100% uh, vegan. They also make a milk chocolate. Uh, I don't know about the white actually, but it's vegan. Um, this one has 55.7% uh, cocoa inside and I will make the ganache. And if you want to use that, for the shells as well to make a total vegan, 100% vegan bonbon, you can use it as well. But I will prefer to put some extra cocoa butter in this because you see, only three drops you will get a thick shell. I would uh, add 10% cocoa butter when you make shells out of this. So this ganache is so easy. I use 200 gram of cream. Use oat milk if you want to make it vegan. I use about 20 grams of ginger, just uh, clean the ginger and chop it up. 
into pieces like this, maybe a little bit more. Put it inside the cream. Then the lemon. Make lemon zests. Of course, I mean lime, not lemon. Now put this to the boil. Remember to taste. So the chocolate is melted, half melted. I put the cream on top. Again, you can add some glucose to that if you want the ganache a little bit sweeter. That's like 20 grams to this recipe. If you don't like glucose, use honey. Scrape the outside of the container. That's it. What do you think I do now? Of course, I taste the ganache. Nice. Ginger, chocolate, lemon. Oh, not lemon, uh, lime. Could be lemon as well. Now I will put this beautiful ganache in a piping bag. Cool it to uh, 30 degrees and then we can fill our bonbons. So, many people just close it here. Yeah, don't do that. Close the bag up here, right at the top if you can. Just use one of these, put them on. They keep perfectly tight. And now I will put this bag on the table and cool it to 30 degrees. We're using a ladle. And now I will show you why this is so clever to have this. I used this big container because I have a new chocolate melter. Inside the cavities, make sure they're filled and overfilled, okay? It's not enough to just fill them half and hope that th that will be okay. See? That's nice. Turn it around and put it back in the melting tank. Voila. One more time. Scrape. Beautiful. Put the shells inside the fridge and after 10 minutes they will be ready to be filled. Now the ganache is about 30, uh, 29, 30 degrees. We're good to go. Right, look. Remember you need space for the lid, the bottom. See, there's no dripping. We're working so clean. Give it a little shake. Maybe a big shake. Look, beautiful. This ganache sets quite hard. If you want it softer, just add less chocolate. Wow, look, this is so beautiful. 
cool in the fridge until the ganache has set. For better connection of the chocolate, heat the bonbons very slightly. This is tempered dark chocolate. Scrape it off. Yes, I have a little bit on the edges, but see, I will just scrape the edges off. That's it. And here are they, my ginger, lime, vegan bonbons. I hope you like this design, this one is very easy to do. And please remember to subscribe, 70% of the people watching right now are not subscribing. And it means a lot to me and it keeps me going. So I hope you will be back for more. Next time I will be doing a different design. And I promise you guys, you really don't want to miss out on this beautiful, beautiful design. See you soon. Bye bye. Next time, this beautiful design.